With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Dear students, question is, how many isomers of C5H11Br show stereochemical inversion when it undergoes SN2 reaction? We have to find out when C5H11Br undergoes SN2 reaction, how many isomers of it undergo stereochemical inversion. We know stereochemical inversion will take place when the carbon containing the alpha halogen, sorry, halogen atom is chiral. So if the halogen atom here bromine is attached to a chiral carbon atom, then only stereochemical inversion will take place. So let us see. How many of the isomers show stereochemical inversion? First let us draw the isomers of C5H11Br or bromopentane. So here we have CH3, CH2, 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 Br. So like this we will write all the isomers. Then CH3. CH2, CH2, CH, Br, CH3, then CH3, CH2, CH, Br, CH2, CH3. So these are the three straight chain isomers. Now let us draw the other ones. Branch chain isomers. So here, we can write like this CS3, CH, CS3, CH2, CH2, Br. Then CS3, CH2, CH, CS3, CH2, Br. Next, the other isomers, possible isomers are rearranging this. We can write CS3, CH, CS3, uh, CH, Br, CS3, CH, CS3, CS3, CH, Br, CS3. Then CS3, C, CS3, CS3. CH2 Br. Now let us see, out of this, let us see which isomers are uh, having chiral carbon atom where bromine is attached. Now here, this carbon is chiral. Then, this one is not chiral because here the carbon atom is attached to two hydrogen atoms. Here also two, here also two. Here this is also two and this one is also chiral. Let me explain you the stereochemical inversion by taking this example. These two compounds will show stereochemical inversion. So, the, let, let me take you this first example that is this is in short CH, C3, H7, CH, Br, so let me write here this is C3, H7, so let us write here C3, H7, C, CS3, H, Br. So this is the compound C3H7, this is C3H7, this is CS3, this is H, this is Br. Now, when a nucleophile attacks to this one from the back side, the nucleophile attacks from the back side so that there will be a Five membered transition state H CS3 and uh, the carbon containing the living group will be in the breaking stage and carbon containing the nucleophile will be in the formation stage. Now then this transition state converts into product. So this is our transition state then it loses bromine the living group then there will be inversion so 
inversion will occur always but uh, if there is a chiral center only we can know that inversion so you see like inverted um, umbrella there is inversion this is known as stereochemical inversion if this is r this will be s if this is s this will be r. this inversion is also known as walden inversion therefore as per the question how many isomers how many isomers will show stereochemical inversion these two there are two isomers of this compound thank you for class 6 to 12 itj and neat level trusted by more than 5 crore students download doubt and after today